right guys we're just gonna hop right into this recipe so we are going to add in two chopped up bell peppers green bell peppers are always the cheapest so you could just use all green bell peppers if you like then we are going to add in about a quarter cup of onion just chopped up nice and small then i'm going to use the light life plant-based ground crumbles but you can use any ones that you like you could use lentils you can use tempeh there's tons of options you can check it all out on my blog post down below and then we're going to add in three cups of vegetable broth. I'm using low sodium vegetable broth. And then we are going to add in our tomato sauce. This is one can of tomato sauce, 15 ounces. I'm gonna add that right in there. Next up, we're adding in a half a cup of brown rice. You can also use white rice if you like, just whatever you want. Quinoa will work great too, or barley. And then I have a little bit of salt and sugar that we're just gonna toss right in there. I'm gonna take my tomato sauce can and fill it up about halfway so we can get the rest of that tomato sauce and add some water in. So we're just gonna dump that into the crock pot as well. We are then just going to give this a nice little mix around. Oh, and also with the peppers, I had some garlic in there too as well. I forgot to tell you guys that. So we're just going to mix this up and we're just gonna put the lid on and leave this for four and a half to five hours, depending on how thick you want this soup to be. Once it is all done, we're just gonna take that top off and it's gonna get a little bit steamy up in here because there's you know, a lot of heat being made. So this is our delicious soup. It's really thick and it is so good. I loved this soup. My mom tried it, my sister tried it. Everybody really enjoyed it and thought it was really good. And it's nice because it comes together quickly. Just put everything right in there. Nice close up. You could see just how thick and filling this is. It's just really good. And I love cooking it in the crock pot. If you want it to be on the thinner side, you cook it for four and a half hours or add in a little more vegetable broth. If you want it to be on the thicker side, cook it for five hours. I personally love when these soups are kind of thicker and chunkier and meatier. So this is perfect for me because it's so good. And I'm just gonna top it with some green onions, vegan cheese, and actually a little bit of sour cream. I just like adding kind of some sort of creaminess into tomato-based soups, but you can use anything you want on top. It would go great with crusty bread, great to pair with like a side salad or something. It's really, really delicious. You're gonna get about two to four servings of this, depending on what your serving size is, depending on how much you're eating, depending on who's eating, it just you know will change depending on what's going on. But this is our delicious soup. Easy, done, filling, comforting and really really good so i hope you guys try it out as always full ingredients are listed out down below and there's a link to my blog post as well if you like my videos you already know like comment subscribe all that good stuff helps to spread vegan recipes around and helps the channel out if you try this tag me on instagram and use hashtag plant free base so i can see your beautiful recreations and i will see you guys on thursday with another video thank you so much for watching bye mm -hmm.